Good afternoon everyone, this is Cindy Tilson and I am going to do a little tutorial today on how to set up a canned response in Gmail. And this can be used for whatever you want to use it for, but what I use it for is to send a response back to people who reply to my Craigslist ads that want to get started with my online opportunity. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to just um, set up your Gmail to start sending canned responses. And to do that, you have to enable it. So you're going to click on the Settings tab over here. And then you're going to go to Settings. And the first thing that you're going to do is click on the Labs link right here. And because I have mine enabled already, you're going to see Enabled Labs at the very top and my canned responses. Um, if you've never enabled them, um, you probably won't see that. You'll probably have to scroll down the page. But just make sure that um, if you have a little dot in this box that you, in this circle, then you check where it says enable and then you're going to save your changes. And then all you're going to do is just compose your email that you're going to be sending back to people who reply. And you're going to leave this, the two line is going to be empty and you're only going to have to worry about the subject. And the subject has to be the same as your ad headline or whatever you have told the person to reply with in the subject. Um, if they don't reply with the exact thing that you've told them, then they won't get the canned response and you will have to send it um, to them yourself manually. So you don't want to do that. So just be really clear about what you want to do. And I'm going to go over to my Craigslist ad and I'm just going to copy this ad headline. And then I'm going to put that in here. And then I've already created my canned response, so I'm just going to copy and paste it and put it into the um, into the email here. And then if you're sending them a link to click on, you're going to want to make sure that the link is actually clickable. Um, if it's not blue, then it's not clickable. And you can just highlight that, highlight your link, and then, oops, highlight your whole link. I didn't have my whole thing highlighted. And then click on this little chain link here and it will um, create a link there. Um, another thing you can do if you want things to stand out to the person is you can create like a background color and a text color to um, give them special instructions or whatever. And um, you can, or you can bold it or what have you, but um, I'm just gonna create a background color. I'm gonna do like orange. And then I'm going to make my text color um, purple. And then I'm going to bold it. And that will kind of stand out to them with special instructions that they need to do. And then once you have your canned response completed, you're going to save it. So you're, do, you're going to do that by clicking this little upside down triangle here. Going to canned responses here. And then you're going to scroll down to you see new canned response. You see it right here. And then it's going to bring your subject line up into this little box. And all you're going to do is click the OK button. And then X out of your canned response because you have now saved it. Now you have to set up a filter so that it, the emails coming in are filtered so they send the canned response to the person. So you're going to go to filters here and click on filters and then you're going to scroll all the way down and if you haven't set up a can response before you aren't going to have all of this in there. These are other can responses I've done but you're going to scroll down and you're going to see where it says create a new filter right here and you just click on that link right here and you're going to simply put in the same subject line here and you have to just copy and paste it again because you will have, well, I copied and pasted my email, so I didn't want to put that in the same subject line. So you're going to put your um, ad headline here or whatever you're having them put in the subject line when they're responding. And then you're going to click on where it says create filter with this search. And then you're going to say, click where it says send canned response. Then you're going to go down here and you're going to choose the canned response that you want them to use or to get and then you're going to create your filter 
and you will see if you scroll down I'm going to scroll down there is my canned response right there and it is all set to go for when anybody responds to my Craigslist ad with that particular subject line and um, it makes it a lot easier to get information to people without having to send it to them one by one um, they just you know go to your link or you know you give them whatever info that they need to get started or um, whatever info they um, have requested and it goes a little faster and that is how you set up a canned response in Gmail and if you would like to get started with my awesome opportunity for making money online and generating $33 um, daily over and over again you can click the link below this video to get started and if you'd like to check out my residual income opportunity you can click on the second link and watch the video there and it walks you through everything and you can get started with that as well if you have any other questions you can comment below and I will get back to you or you can email me and I will also put my email in the comments box hope you found this video to be interesting and helpful to you and I will see everyone on my next one have a wonderful afternoon bye bye